clad in African wear, the 82 year old makes way out of his mansion in Chari Wajara with the support of a medical foldable walking aid. It is a situation brought about by what he describes as a faulty pelvic joint that has rendered him physically unfit to some extent. Until the invasion of the coronavirus pandemic, he always visited his home country of Germany for a review of his health condition. The situation in Germany is so bad concerning the coronavirus infections. Feeling at home in this COVID-19 pandemic era is a vaccination brought about by Africa's hospitality, a continent whose diversity he truly appreciates. An insect must have bitten me, which transmitted a disease which is not lethal, not deadly, but uncurable. I have had once the chance when I gave a lecture at Nkumba University to have somebody who, and I asked, what sort of disease is that? Yeah? A young gentleman showed up and I said, well, please, uh, what in your view is this disease? And he said, love for Africa. Born in 1930 in Germany, Klaus Holderbaum studied and graduated with a law degree, but without interest in legal practice. He joined the German Foreign Service in 1970 as an attaché at the Embassy of the Federal Republic of Germany in London. Between 1971 and 1974, he was the second and first secretary, legal department and lecturer for public and international law at the School of Diplomacy. That was part of my training period as young German diplomat, but it was a fascinating time. It was only eight months, but during these eight months, I had the chance, the honor, and also the pleasure, to must, I must say, to have attended functions which, um, I mean, many people, or most of the people, are not able to attend. It is such interest in foreign service that saw him become ambassador outside Germany and Africa in particular. He has since served in Zambia, Ivory Coast, Mali, and Cameroon. Uganda was his last posting, serving between 1999 and 2003. Uganda is a very beautiful country with a very peaceful and, uh, yeah, dedicated population where the German ambassador is welcome with open arms. In line with the law of Germany, irrespective of the month, civil servants are required to retire on June 30th of the year, day clock 65. His own retirement from diplomatic service was cut short by five months. But how did it feel like coming to serve in Uganda and eventually retiring and settling in the Pearl of Africa. The more I have been here, the more I have learned about the situation, internal situation of Uganda, the more, I must say, so easy it has not been. And it's uh, even now yeah, that I'm here. Um, I must say that I was uh, very fortunate that I have 
chosen and was helped in that to stay in Uganda. The man who loves African art, Klaus Holderbaum, has had an opportunity to learn a lot about the African continent, the more reason he settled here. The history of Africa cannot be understood without knowing these contexts and the even decisions by former colonial powers. He is, however, concerned that African countries are not at the same level of development, something he partly attributes to different constitutional setups. Some leaders are more inclined to develop their own countries than others. Some of these challenges, he says, have a bearing on history that emerged from his own hometown of Berlin. A conference was held and artificial borders were imposed on Africa. Something, he says, is regrettable. Certainly, a number of uh, uh, disputes which had their cause in this partitioning of Africa at the Berlin Conference, yeah. um, this was something which has certainly uh, been uh, resting on the shoulders of the African countries, which was not very positive. Since July 2003, he has worked as an independent consultant advisor and served as a member of board of directors for various organizations. He is currently a presidential advisor on tourism, trade and industry, a role whose contract he says was recently renewed. Henry Okrut, UBC.